day one of lobster mini season. I got both my brothers, Victor and Dennis, behind the camera. Normally this is a big family tradition, but our parents are actually on a road trip right now, so they can't be with us. And it's pretty crazy because I'm pretty sure this is our first mini season ever that our parents won't be with us. But the kids are gonna get it done today. We're about to hop in the water. The sun hasn't even come up yet, but we are ready to go. We're excited and we're ready to catch some lobsters, so I will see you underwater. It's looking pretty good. First rock right under the boat. Has tentacles sticking out on all sides. Looks like it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna put my mask on, my snorkel, trying to sabotage it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got a new uh, snorkel last night and Brooke put it on my mask. It's a little backwards. All right guys, so it is a very, very cloudy day. I don't think we're gonna have a good sunrise this morning. It's supposed to be cloudy all day long, so we're gonna jump in the water already. It's not very bright out, but Fisher says the lobsters are literally walking around because when it's so dark, they feel safe, so they walk around. And then when the sun comes out, they usually head towards rocks. And you guys already know, got a bunch of my custom lobster nets and tickle sticks that I hand make. Got a net for everybody this morning. Floralobsternets.com, you're gonna see us catch basically every single lobster today using these nets and these tickle sticks, unless we wanna grab them by hand. So let's hop in the water, catch some bugs. We're gonna have a great day, I'm excited. Welcome to the underwater world of what I think are some of the most beautiful reefs of anywhere I've had the pleasure of diving. The sun still hadn't peeked out from the horizon yet, so these lobsters felt like they could still move around and not look for refuge under the rocks yet. So this was the first lobster catch of the morning, but also my first failed attempt at trying to catch two lobsters in one dive. They're literally walking around, but first lobster of the morning, she's legal, she's going in the boat. My brothers and I have been diving and catching lobsters together basically since we could swim. And Victor joined the team about 11 years ago, so I like to say we operate as a well-oiled machine under the water. Typically, you'll see Fisher using a tickle stick to coax the lobsters out of the rocks, and then one of us will swim down and net it. We think it's a pretty great system. It keeps us all diving together and keeping an eye on one another. Have you ever heard of safety in numbers? Well, that works for in the water as well. Not only for if something bad were to happen to one of us underwater, but also for other boaters who are driving around. A group of divers is much easier to see versus just one head bobbing up and down on the surface by itself. There is a lot of lobsters around here. The water clarity kind of sucks, so if you miss them, they're coming out quick. Woo! He's good, going in the bag. Lobsters move around often. They do not find a home and stay there for very long. So although we dive a lot of the same reefs, the lobsters are constantly moving around based on where they can find food, as well as weather conditions, water temperatures, and mating season also makes them migrate. Lobster mini season, also called sport season, is always the last Wednesday and Thursday of July each year. Mini season is only open to recreational divers. It gives everyone two days to go out to catch lobsters before the commercial lobster fishermen are allowed to set their traps. Regular lobster season begins on August 6th and goes until March 31st. I can already tell without even measuring this one. It's gonna be way too small. You just tell when they get in your hand that they're too small, so gotta let this one go. Lobsters have a minimum size limit. Their carapace must be greater than three inches. A measuring device is required by law and the lobsters must be measured in the water. Victor is measuring this one and if we slow it down enough, you can tell it's too small, so he just let this one go. Look at that. Non-stop action with the Florida lobster nets. These things are getting it done, man. It's been a pretty productive mini season. Everybody's getting in on the action. Visibility's a little bad, but there's lots of lobsters to be had. Besides being able to dive without the competition of any commercial lobster fishermen, another perk of lobster mini season is a larger bag limit versus during the regular season. Excluding Monroe County and Biscayne National Park, the rest of Florida is allowed 12 lobsters per person during mini season. The limit during regular season is only six per person. Every once in a while, Fisher grabs one. You got to. 
first thing in the morning. A lot of bugs around as the afternoon goes. It's gonna get cleared out. There is a lot of boats out here. We bring this lobster bag in the water with us so we don't have to constantly swim back to the boat to throw the lobsters in that we catch. We can easily just put them in this bag called a lobster hotel. However, this bag gets heavy very fast. It starts to feel like you're carrying around a bag of bowling balls when you get too many lobsters in it. Well, first spot of the day, I think we bagged 20 lobsters. Let's check out the cooler. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. We're having a great morning already. 8 a.m. and we already got a cooler full of lobsters. Pretty successful morning on our first spot of the day. All right, so we just anchored up on the second spot. Fisher says there's lobsters here, so I just anchored the boat again, hopping in to catch these ones. A lot of people ask how deep the water is where we dive. This spot here is about 20 feet deep and the spot we dove before is about 16 feet. As you can see, this lobster is missing an antenna. Lobsters use their antennas to try to fend off predators. Sometimes they get knocked off by divers, but since this was the first day of the season, I think this lobster lost one of his antennas to a predator. Maybe an eel, maybe a nurse shark, maybe even a big grouper or snapper. That's a good one too right there. Uh -huh. The only lobsters you aren't allowed to keep are obviously lobsters that are too small, but also female lobsters that are carrying eggs. We didn't catch one female with eggs, so I can't show you, but they're very easy to spot and you must let them go immediately. You'll often see lobsters shoot backwards by rapidly flexing and extending their tail. They can actually move quite fast.
Jed has been trying to keep track of how many we have, but when you have so many people catching them at the same time, you might miss one here and there. So we're going to recount now. He thinks we have 46. Let's see how well he's been doing counting. Where we are in Broward County, you're allowed 12 lobsters per person only on mini season. All the rest of the time during lobster season, you're only allowed to have six. But during mini season, here you're allowed to have 12. If you're down in the Florida Keys, Monroe County, you're only allowed to keep six per person on mini season. But everyone always says you catch so many lobsters and well, we can only do this for today and tomorrow. And tomorrow we're probably not even gonna go out. I'm not gonna lie, it is a lot of lobsters, but we don't do this all the time. We literally get to do it once a year. Four, 45, 48, right? Yep. 38 lobsters, 12 more to go. We got one more man limit. So Fisher jumped in by himself to check out this next spot and he was going to check, see if there were lobsters and I was going to throw the anchor. He goes, I see one, should I just go get it? And I was like, okay. He comes up with two. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Nice job. Check it. That's how it's done. Doubles. Alright, now we're at 50. <laughs> I have nothing profound to say. I mean, I think it's like probably 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and uh, I think we got 60 lobsters in the boat. That's a, that's a great day, and have it done so quickly. No sunburns on anybody. Water is like bath water. You could never want to swim anything nicer than this. So, no complaints, just uh, smiles around. So, mini season done, done well this year. All right, guys, there we go. Got our cool little lobsters. Go ahead and put the ice on them, Dennis. Got some ice. And we are ready to go home and clean these babies up. Well, the crew got it done. Brooke was saying how this was the first time she's dove without her dad. And when I met her family, I didn't really do much free diving. So they basically taught me everything I know about free diving. So they were definitely missed, Brian and Deb, but that's what it's all about, passing it on from one generation to the next. The kids went out today. I don't know if you could call us kids anymore, but we got it done, man. It was a, I would say it was an above average mini season. A lot of times we're still out here till three o'clock struggling to get our limit. Three spots, some amazing catches, and you guys see the nets work wonders. So I know Brooke talks about it all the time, but you guys should check them out, linked below. I had a great day. Yes, the parents were definitely missed today but I think we made them proud with a cooler full of lobsters. We're also about to get stormed on, so time to head home. All right guys, so we are back at the dock. It is time to clean up all of our lobsters. And like you saw, every single lobster today was caught with my handmade lobster net and tickle stick. 
basically what we do is one of the boys will tickle out the lobster either to themselves or to someone on the surface who has a net and then someone will net it um, you can find these at floralobsternets.com we've been using them for a long time um, I literally hand make every single one. Big thank you to every single person who has supported me and purchased something off of my website. I got the nets, tickle sticks, um, lobster gauges. I'll show you how to measure a lobster here. You have to have a lobster gauge on your boat if you are catching lobsters. You legally need one of these on your vessel. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it between the eyes at the these are called their horns so you're going to put it between the horns in front behind those eyes on the hard piece of their shell and then the back of the gauge goes towards the back and if it fell past his head the carapace like this it would be a short lobster even if it touches the back just like that that means it's an exactly three inch lobster and they have to be greater than three inches so that's a short lobster even if it just just touches it so this one as you can see is about three quarters of an inch bigger than it needs to be so that's how you measure them now i'm going to show you guys how to clean it first thing is get a good pair of gloves i don't know how people clean lobsters without gloves but sometimes i see it if you look at a lobster they have little spines all over their body there's nothing victor always says there is nothing cuddly about this animal and it's just sharp everywhere you get all scratched up from them so definitely have a pair of gloves Another thing that I always find extremely funny every single time I make a lobster video is there's always comments about people saying that these are not lobsters because they don't have claws. These are Caribbean spining lobsters and they don't have claws. So I know the ones up north, um, they have claws, but we don't have claws on our lobsters. So to clean it, put one hand on the head, one hand on the tail. I always like to do this over the water. You'll see why. You see all that water that comes out? That's kind of... It's a mix of salt water as, as well as lobster blood. Now what I'm gonna do is break off the tip of the antenna. I only need like the top portion of it. And what I'm going to do is get out the digestive tract out of the lobster. Well, that time I pushed it out the other side. So this is the digestive tract. Um, I can tell this one is full of sand, so you definitely want to make sure you're removing this part out of the lobster because you do not want to be eating lobster poop. So let me show you one more time the correct way instead of pushing it out the wrong side. I literally did it again. Oh, there it goes. I got it. And you just pull it out just like that. And you get rid of that part. So the reason I say to wring them over the water, because look at this fillet table. This is their blood and it will coagulate and almost become like glue on surfaces. So you always wanna do it over something because this stuff is nasty and when it dries, it's really hard to get off. We got our bucketfuls of clean tails and we're actually going to keep all the heads because we are gonna go fishing tonight. Um, Victor's going to make a video tonight and we're going to use the heads as chum tonight to hopefully chum up some Kubera snappers. So we're gonna finish cleaning these guys up and then I will see you guys in the kitchen. Welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight for dinner we are having nine lobsters and I have my brothers coming over for dinner as well as their girlfriends. So I took the nine lobsters out of their shells and chopped it into basically bite-sized pieces. And we're gonna season this up with some salt and then some pepper. And then we're going to go in with my favorite blackening seasoning chef paul's redfish magic and we're gonna season these babies up now what i'm making tonight is i'm sure everyone has heard of chipotle we're basically making our own do-it-yourself chipotle bowls tonight so i think it's gonna be pretty fun to make a bowl and be able to have lobster with your bowl so i'm gonna basically just blacken up these lobsters and then have all the fixins to make our own bowls just like chipotle one of my favorite ways to eat lobster is blackened. I just love when I take the lobster out of the shell, cut it into bite-sized pieces. I just like it so much more than trying to eat a lobster out of the shell. 
One thing Chipotle doesn't have is a avocado cream sauce, and that's what we're gonna be making tonight to put on top of our bowls. So I got two avocados in here. I'm gonna go in with just this much garlic, a big clove, and a little clove. We're going to go in with some light sour cream. And then some mayonnaise. I want more sour cream than mayonnaise, so I'm gonna do that much for now as well. Then we're gonna go in with a bunch of cilantro. We're gonna start out with half of a lime, the juice of half of a lime, and then if we need to add more, we can always add more. And then to top it off, salt. Mix it up, just tried it. It's absolutely delicious. Look at that beautiful color we got going on. I'm gonna add a little more lime juice as well as a little salt. All right, so we are in the backyard. We're gonna be cooking outside. Anytime I have the opportunity to cook on the side burner outside instead of stinking up the house with anything, I always choose to cook outside and it is raining and there is a thunderstorm going on. So there is some lightning and thunder out here, but we're gonna start with some olive oil in our pan. There's the thunder. Now we're going in with our lobster. So I'm actually gonna put in a couple tablespoons of butter here as well. All right, these babies are done and we're taking them inside. All right, so we got our cilantro lime rice. We got our lobster, it looks absolutely delicious. Very tender, didn't overcook it. You never wanna overcook your lobster. And then we got just some lettuce, as well as some tomato, corn, like salsa going on. And then it took me a very long time to get that avocado cream sauce in this bottle, but finish it off with a little bit of this, so. We're basically making our own homemade chipotle bowls. <laughs> so go ahead, Whee. Whee. take a bowl and go down the line. This is absolutely amazing, and um, anything you can eat in a bowl, I'm a huge fan of. This is <laughs> superb. Brooks' brother Fisher makes soup pretty much every single day, so he's not kidding about the bowl thing. Brooke and I went to Chipotle yesterday, and this is just 10 times better than any Chipotle bowl you'll ever have. Where are you gonna get fresh lobster caught by us? All these delicious vegetables and rice and just it was good. We uh, missed the girls. They weren't out there with us. Just the boys out there and Brookie and had a good time. Well, you guys oh weren't God. out there. I was there. <laughs> I feel like it's rare that I get to sit at this table and eat something that I helped catch. So that's always a plus. Um, the conditions weren't that great, but we still got it done. Definitely gave me a newfound appreciation for what my mom does out there because I know I carried the bag a lot and trying to keep track of how many lobsters we have that ended up being all of it a lot harder than I, than I thought so shout out to my mom every every time we go diving and Brooke this is phenomenal thank, thank you. you I expected no one to try to keep count because Jed is right my mom is always the person to keep count so I was like you know we'll catch some we'll count them we'll catch some more count them and keep it like a count that way and Jed was like oh yeah we have this money and I was like you've been keeping keeping count I was so surprised he was only off by two when we recounted them so I'd say that was pretty good um bowls just so happen to be my favorite vessel <laughs> for food as well um so I love anything in a bowl definitely better than any chipotle bowl I've ever had um the lobster is really fresh and it's really tasty I love it Thank you.
This is amazing. The lobster was cooked perfectly, very seasoned, tender, amazing flavors, and this is way better than Chipotle, so you're giving Chipotle a run for its money, so. If you guys ever see lobster on a Chipotle menu, remember you saw it here first. <laughs> Well, we had a really fun, easy dinner. I love nice, easy dishes. If you're looking for something nice and simple to do, give this recipe a try, because it was absolutely delicious and very, very simple to throw together. We are now officially a little more than a week away from the beginning of lobster season, which starts August 6th. So if you guys are still looking for some lobster gear or you want to try out my lobster nuts, I have a pile of them in the background. I got lobster nuts, the tickle sticks, the lobster gauges, mash strap covers, dive bags, t-shirts. I got a lot of different things on my website. So thank you everyone again who has purchased from me. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Lights, camera, action. Here we go. Ready? You ready? <laughs> Welcome back to the kitchens. Okay, let me start over. Welcome back to the kitchens. Welcome back to the kitchens. Welcome.